Hi Goddess Gang, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so, so much for coming back to see your girl. But anywho, I just want to say that today's video is going to be super exciting because we are reviewing the Huda Beauty Fox Filter um, Foundation along with the Morphe and Jacqueline Hill new collection of their palettes. Um, but before we go ahead and get started into this video, make sure that you subscribe because if you're not, how will you know about the tea that's coming this way for the fall? How will you know? How will you know? So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell so that you receive all of my notifications. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. <laughs> already washed I didn't put any moisturizer on so I do want to get started with my Bobbi Brown hydrating face cream and guess where I found this day I found this girl at um, Nordstrom's rack for $20 the original price y'all don't even want to know but I got the baby shop that's all I need so I brought some I didn't buy the foundation, but I did bring the primer home. Um, not the matte one, but I took some samples for my job, so y'all will see a lot of these little jars in this video because I just want to review this foundation, but I am going to put a picture of this foundation probably on either side here. I don't know where it's going to go, but it's going to be there. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and start priming my face with this. I don't really care for a, a matte look, so that's why I picked the hydrating primer. It smells good. Okay, so I'm going to take Cinnamon 440 and just, uh, no about this. It looks kind of orange. I don't know how I feel about that. That's cinnamon, y'all. We trying to see. On camera, it looks like it matches with my face, but it's actually a lot more red, and I'm more golden. So we're going to try chocolate mousse in the color 450 golden. Yeah, chocolate mousse looks more my speed. Yeah, I'm going to go with chocolate mousse, so I'll be right, right back. I'm going to take those two colors off, and we're going to do the full face. I am in the shade Chocolate Mousse 450 Golden in the Huda Beauty Foundation. So I'm just going to blend all of this out. And I think by the way that this foundation is applying, I want to switch my brush. So again, I'm going to take my Morphe Y7 and I'm going to buff out Chocolate Mousse 450 Golden into my skin. And if I'm looking down, you guys, just because I'm looking at a mirror. But what I'm getting from this foundation, it is, it is matte. is matte girl she's definitely matte oh, I hate matte foundations y'all I don't care for them too much y'all this foundation is so matte so what I will say this is just the first coat or the first layer whatever it is like kind of drying I don't know if it's because like I need to have it on and let my natural oils come through a little bit but the coverage is really nice I do like the coverage it's just that it is so matte so I'm not a huge fan of a really really matte foundation 
I don't see the height. And it like, and I have like little small lines in my forehead and it's like settling. Like this is not radiant at all. Like I hate matte. I don't think y'all understand. I hate matte foundations. And it says that for the skin types, it's for normal dry. It says it's for normal dry combination and oily skin, baby. Baby. Huda. Girl. This is not for no dry skin. This. And I have oily skin and looking at look at how it's doing me right now. This is not a natural finish, sis. Oh yeah. This is about to be a roast. And it says it has argon oil in it. And this is supposed to hydrate the skin. I don't I'm sorry, but ma'am, I don't get nothing hydrating from this face. But moving on brows is done so now today we're going to be reviewing the morphe jacqueline hill palette and i'm going to be doing a fall makeup look using these pretty 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 colors so the first shade i'm going to take is the color shush or sh whatever i'm going to use that shade there and i'm going to take it and go into my crease and I'm so glad that this freaking beautiful package has a mirror. Like, oh my gosh. So, I basically have primed my eyes, y'all, with the um, Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I'm going to take this shade and put it all in my crease. I'm going to put that right in the crease and just blend her out. Then I'm going to take the shade, I think I'm going to take Mojo and put that in my crease now. on my eyelids oh this is so gorgeous Now I want to take Trickery, which is this green shade, and I want to top it off with that. Why is it not picking up? Uh-uh, see the shimmer shades now just gave me something to complain about. Yeah, this palette is really pretty and people complained about fallout but where where's the fallout sway oh that is so pretty look at that before lashes I like to apply my Marc Jacobs mascara So guys, I went ahead and chose my lip color, which is the color Beauty Mark, which is the NYX Lingerie Lipstick. 
and then I topped it off with Urban Decay's Hi-Fi Shine Lip Gloss in the shade 1993. And this is, you know, giving real fallish, but I'm gonna be right back so I can change my clothes for you all and give you my final thoughts. Y'all need to like chit chat with me, sis. Chit chat with me. Let's talk about this foundation, girl. Let's talk about it. On to my thoughts about this foundation, the Huda Beauty Fox Filter Foundation. Um, it was okay. I just don't really care too much for a mattifying finish, so it does feel really, really dry. The primer felt amazing, but the foundation feels really, really dry. So you have to do a mean skin prep along with a hydrating um, primer because this is like super matte. My face feels really flat. I felt like I had to add a lot of definition to my skin with like a bronzer to give it like some shape and bring the color and everything back. And even though you have to do that with all foundations, but this right here just, I don't know sis, I just really wasn't feeling it. Um, so this wasn't a foundation that I personally would recommend, so Z-Ray does not approve of it, but I mean, like I said, I didn't buy it, I just took samples of it from Sephora and just kept it moving. Basically, I don't know why everybody was clowning Jacqueline about this new palette here. Um, this is the, which one is this? Why doesn't it tell me? Oh, the Dark Magic palette. I don't know why they were clowning her about this palette because, sis, this was a sleigh. Like, I love this freaking palette. It comes with a mirror. The packaging is cute. There wasn't any fallout, so I don't know what everybody else was talking about. So maybe you just got a bad batch, sis. I don't know. But... If you're interested in any of these products, I'll make sure that I list them down below. And again, I just want to thank you guys so, so much for coming past my channel and showing me so much love and support like you all always do. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.